Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a follow-up review, or follow-up to my first impressions video I did for the uh, OnePlus 3T that I recently purchased. So, it's just um, a couple of things that I wanted to follow up on. Um, one thing was just a personal um, brain fart that I had as far as a toggle. The other is something related to a setting that someone found, but if you want this particular feature in the 3T, then... You don't really have to do too much to get it so i'll start with that which is actually the simpler one of the two or probably i guess they're all arguably the same for both topics but um if you want to get the battery percentage in your um notification or your status bar on your 3t um it's just a matter of going to the um, um battery settings and hitting the toggles that says show battery percentage so just turning it off like that and turning it back on again um will change that um adjustment there was a thing that came that i saw recently where um if you tap on the settings thing a bunch of times or like hold down or something along those lines um then it'll enable a special settings uh, menu in or settings option called the system ui tuner so what this will let you do is basically the same thing as a toggle we just saw so you'll see that toggle when your phone is in charge or when your phone's not charging you can toggle it to show the battery percentage so um if you don't have the system ui tuner or don't want to see it then you can just go to the battery um, option in this in your settings menu and turn it on um but the one thing it does enable is that if you go to the status bar then you can enable and disable various um, toggles for your notification drawer so as you can see i disabled uh, work profile and ethernet and then if you uh, use or don't use other features you can adjust those various toggles and those are the ones that where you swipe down twice and you have the various settings here to um, toggle as you uh, desire so that's the easy one um, the other thing is that um, let's say you um, don't want the on-screen um, navigation buttons namely the back home and recents button the 3t actually does have capacitive buttons on it so um, uh, whenever I have heard of that the uh, basically over the past few days when I heard that the 3t has a home the home button is built in with the fingerprint sensor I was like that's weird I just have the fingerprint sensor and I have the on-screen button so I decided to play around a little bit and I went into the uh, buttons option so the on-screen navigation bar toggle basically once you turn it on you have your back home and recents button um so basically the idea here is that when you go into settings and it's off by default but if it's on you accidentally turn it on um basically i'm oh, sorry not battery but buttons um when you turn it off um you have a toggle for backlight so when you touch your capacitive button they flash a little bit so um, i'm currently navigating using those buttons so recents like that back like that um, let's say I have pocket cast open and I touch the fingerprint button, then I go back home. So, um, the, I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but the OnePlus 3T does have capacitive buttons for navigation. So for me, I'm actually keeping them off, um, because it gives me that extra real estate to have more things on the screen. And it does actually enable, um, the grayed out areas on the three additional options. So if you want your home back and recents button to do extra things, then what you can do is, for example, um, pressing on the home button uh, or long pressing on the home button will enable the Google Assistant. So I'm long pressing now, you get the flash. And um, as you can see, the Google bar comes up. I turned off my internet connection temporarily, so it's not gonna load anything. Um, and then you can do a double tap action. So if you wanna open and close your menu, see your recent searches, system, and all these various other things, um, you can um, have the buttons do that so actually what i've done is that on my recents button um what i've done is when i double tap on it i have it set to open my camera or my default camera app so well when i tap on it twice my camera opens and it's actually very fast so um i have kept it there and i always have that um, option available and then i the same long uh, options are available for a long press and then um, same thing for the back button. So if you want to double tap your back button to turn off your screen and then double tap your recents button to turn on your open your camera or have voice search or 
open your notification center then whatever you want to do that makes it easy you can do that you obviously can set it to do nothing like i have um, because for the most part my home right now we have the focus system so that's good enough for me and a double tapping for the camera is basically solves that option um ideally i mean i'd like something along the lines of being able to take whatever let's say app i have installed or even a, even if it's a stock app like the gallery that has something there or a pull up a menu but um for the most part this is good enough for me so um at the moment i'm keeping it like this as i mentioned for the extra real estate and then also being able to double tap on my recents to open my camera so um i can obviously lock my or launch the camera from my lock screen but it's a easy way to have that and i don't have to have an extra shortcut just for um, the camera i did have the slide gesture as i mentioned in the first video um but this actually the, the camera a little bit faster so i have it set up that way and then if you're wondering as far as on a side note why the uh the minimal is few icons i have going on i actually have it set up where it's asking also to swipe on my my, drawer, my on the icon to open a drawer for cover and then just having the icon here like that will launch that icon so for example this folder for media app is all my media stuff so i, I generally want to Um, so that's really the bulk of it. Um, I'm still uh, playing around a little bit with the um, battery uh, life. Um, I am recording something, so that might be, and I just unplugged my device, so the approximate time right now is seven hours, but I have noticed that over the course of the day, it does adjust accordingly, so Doze actually does work pretty good. So I actually, for the most part, get a full day's battery life out of my device, especially if when I don't watch any videos or anything. So. I leave home usually with 100% by the end of the day, um, probably between like 50 and 60% and then I'll either plug in like have a half an hour to an hour before I go home just for the sake of it. Um, but I can actually get, basically I leave home around um, eight o'clock. I'm usually going to the, I usually go to the gym in the morning as well. So um, usually unplugged itself around six o'clock I get home around um, seven to eight o'clock, and then so right around there, that twelve to thirteen hours is basically enough for my phone. I'm still only at maybe forty five, forty to fifty percent battery left, depending on how, what I've used it for or what I've done for that day. So maybe even thirty percent if I've watched some videos or just done a few extra things. But overall, um, battery life is good. I've um, enjoyed the those. Um, uh, life of the battery which is at um, 3400 milliamp hours battery for reference there um, but overall in general back to the buttons a little bit the capacitive buttons actually are a little bit more responsive than all the on-screen buttons so that is also another reason for me to keep those buttons or use those buttons instead of the on-screen buttons but um, that is all for this follow-up so um, if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that you can uh, email me at headphonesdeal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. And all uh, and actually all uh, YouTube screenshot or reviews are here, youtube.com slash PatelN01. And all other links can be found at PatelN01.com. But that's all there is for this particular follow-up review. Thanks for watching and listening. And until next time.